step of our Alice dress is to hem the dresses and so what we will need to do is is we will need to press our hem of both our lining and our main up a quarter of an inch now you may also do the lining or the reverse side and the main as a separate hem but I prefer to finish it together as it makes a complete and well finished dress that way but it but it is probably the trickiest step of this dress because we want it to lay together flat and not bag so we will start with our main and we will press the hem up a quarter or an inch right the way around now you can check your hem length with one of these little devices or just a plain tape measure and we line it up and just make sure it is that quarter of an inch. If you were hemming your dresses, your lining and your main dress separately, you would need to press an eighth of an inch and then press another eighth of an inch again and then you would just hem the dresses individually and have them sit together but today we will be doing them together and so we just need to press that quarter of an inch And then we'll repeat the process for that lining piece. Making sure we press a quarter of an inch. And then we have both our lining and our main ready to be pinned and hemmed together. Your next step will be to join your lining or reverse and your main dress at the hems that we have just pressed. Now starting with the side of the dress make sure you line those side seams up carefully it is, this is one of the most important 
parts of sewing this dress is making sure these hems line up so your dress doesn't bag at the bottom. So I've just checked, I've just pulled it at the top of that side seam and I've made sure both the main and the lining are sitting nice and flush together. So I'll just repeat it, that step, for the opposite side. When you're pinning, you may need to adjust the hems a little bit in that you may need to tuck them under so they line up well. So I'm just going to continue pinning my dress together just making sure it is sitting nice and flat and that we don't see any of the opposite fabric at the base of the dress. Do take your time. Do use lots of pins for this job. Again, I'll be checking as I go just to make sure my dress is not bagging as I'm doing it. Also checking that my fabrics both line up neatly. You may need to stretch it ever so slightly so it fits neatly. And it's also why we need to be careful when we are sewing our seams and keeping our seam allowances. So everything lines up and you're not stuck with more work than you need. Just carry on until you're pinned right the way around. Once you've pinned right the way around your dress and you can see that I have been liberal with my penny. Um, it should look a little bit like this. And next we are going to go ahead and sew the dress together. When we go ahead and sew our hems together, we need to be approximately an eighth of the inch away from the edge or as close as you feel comfortable sewing. Now I like to put my hems uh, at a little bit of a longer stitch length so I've got it set at three and I'm going to go ahead and sew my hem again starting off with a stay stitch.
once you have sewn right around the edge. Remove your pins and we will carry on with the next step which is to sew your buttons on.